I'm going to show you how the VMware SD-WAN Edge is deployed at a remote site location, specifically focusing on deploying two devices in high availability pair and utilizing the zero touch provisioning process to do so. Under the customer tenant and orchestrator, I've already created an Edge site to be deployed for this HA pair. I have already done the basic configuration needed for this site. I have configured the LAN subnet on the default VLAN labeled corporate. I have also enabled this edge to act as a DHCP server for any devices that are connected to the LAN or connected to the Wi-Fi. It'll assign an IP address appropriately. And for this site, we're going to enable high availability by simply clicking the active standby pair option and identifying that the HA interface associated with the heartbeat communication is going to propagate over a gig E1. And we're going to save these changes. And we've also added a Wi-Fi SSID and associated it with the VLAN named corporate that is our LAN subnet. In terms of basic configuration, that's all that's needed to get it going. At this point, we are ready to allow this site's HA pair edges to join our overlay network by pushing this configuration via a simple zero touch provisioning process. We're going to use the pull activation method by sending an activation link to be used by the on-site installer. As an on-site installer for an HA deployment, I only need to start with one SD-WAN edge. I will first plug in the power to power it on and cable it for internet using one of the WAN interfaces, so either GIGI3 or GIGI4. I will also need to find the serial number and identify the last three digits. I will use that to identify the Wi-Fi SSID. Allow a minute or two for the edge to fully boot. You should see an out-of-the-box Wi-Fi SSID with the last three digits of the serial number and use the default VC secret as the password to join this network. You can check the assigned IP address on your laptop to make sure you're successfully on the Edge's LAN network. Once successfully connected to the Edge's default 192.168.2.0 network, as an installer, I can now activate the appliance by opening a web browser to the URL used in that activation email. At this point, the configuration of the device is automatic and depending on your factory image software, it may take five to 10 minutes while the device is configured and activated. Once the LED on the front of the edge is in a solid green state, the configured Wi-Fi SSID will be made available to join using the password set in the configuration. As an admin, Orchestrator will also show the primary edge's activation status in the network overview page. And here we'll also see that the HA state is pending the detection of the standby edge device, which will indicate to our on-site installer to go ahead and cable and power up. To provision the secondary edge, power on the second device without any network connections first. As the device is booting, connect the LAN1 or GIGI1 interface of the secondary to the same interface on the active primary edge. And it will automatically configure itself and update the software through the GIGI1 HA interface. For the admin, orchestrator's event logs will indicate the status of this activation. With the log message of high availability going active, we can now confirm the HA state of standby ready. And with that done, connect the LAN and WAN interfaces on the standby edge device. You can identify the current active edge by looking for the solid green LED. And you can also identify the standby edge by the solid blue LED.